This project will simulate the floating vessel motion in water by dynamic mesh method. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. Also in this window, if you click under the phases and then click uh, the water phase, you can see that the volume fraction related to the water phase is set to be zero since this boundary is a boundary where only air enters the computational domain. Now if you click the deforming mesh zone, you can see that under the meshing option tab, the remeshing and the smoothing option are defined for this zone. Also if you can remember, uh, in the previous slide we talked about the parameters that stipulates the remeshing process. You can see the same parameters here. By clicking on zone scale info, we will explain how to define these values correctly. In the appeared window, you can see the quality info for the manually generated mesh at the first place. Now, we want the new mesh after the remeshing interval to almost have the same quality as the first mesh. So, we enter the values under the parameter section as near as possible to the info which is shown in the zone scale info window. The same settings are applied here with only difference that the drag coefficient is selected in this report. Now that we have created our plane in order to extract 2D contour, we have to expand the graphics section and then go over contours and right click on it and then select new. In the appeared window, in order to extract the uh, volume fraction of two phases of air and water contour under the contours of section you have to select phases and under the phase section so for example select water phase uh, after that under the surfaces section we have to select our defined plane and then click on save or display button in this contour you can easily see the free surface on water and that the object is floating on the interface between two phases of air and water. In order to extract the velocity contour over this plane, all you have to do is to change the contours of section from phases to velocity. After that, just by clicking on save or display button, the software will show you this contour. Now in this contour you can easily see the changes in velocity of the air and water after they pass over the floating object. And finally, in this contour, you can easily see the pressure distribution on the surface of our floating object. You also can easily see the vetted area of the floating object marked by a higher pressure distribution on the surface. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.